Hi, I'm Dr. Rod Shaw from Math Plus Academy, and today's math treat is the fold and one cut challenge, or the fold and one cut problem. What we're going to try and do is cut certain different shapes out of a piece of paper by folding it and making one straight cut. So for example, if I had a square and I wanted to cut this out of the paper, of course I could get some scissors and just cut from the outside and cut around the four edges and I could cut the square out. But I'd have to cut the edge of the paper and that's maybe not what I want to do. So another thing I could do is punch a hole in the middle and work my way around. Again, kind of tedious. So what we're going to try and do today is fold this paper in some way and then make one straight cut and see if we can get this square out of this piece of paper without any extraneous slices anywhere else. So let me show you how you might do that. So here again is my square. You see it. I've already done some folding and I'll show you how that works in a second. And I've actually folded, uh, drawn the square on both sides because it's a little easier for me when I fold to kind of match up and line up the lines on the same places so that as you can see now both sides of my paper look the same because I folded right down the middle of this square. Now if you want to try this at home I recommend tracing paper, onion paper, um, patty paper if you have that. Something that's a little more transparent so it's just a little bit easier to see and if you draw with a marker then you can kind of see through both sides of the paper and it makes the folding a little easier. In this case I just have regular printer paper but I've drawn the shape on both sides. Okay, now I'm gonna fold in half here. And so I think that's kind of a, an improvement. And then I will fold in half this way. And as you can see on both sides, I have this now quarter sized square. And I need to be able to, I could now do this in two cuts, one, two, but I wanna be able to do it in one cut. So what I notice is that if I fold diagonally like this, then I can get just one line on this paper and you'll see that if I make the one straight cut just like that what am I left with? Aha! The square! So that is really cool all cut out with one straight cut no poking holes and making a mess boom! So now the challenge is I think a next good challenge is could you do a rectangle? So draw yourself a rectangle, uh, probably on both sides again if you don't have tracing paper, and then see if you can fold it. Maybe you fold it in half again, and then you fold it in half. Well, let me just try this. I'll fold it in half, and then I'll fold it in half, kind of like I did with a square. But now, if I kind of, I don't know how I would... So think about how you might then fold this so that these two lines end up on top of each other and you can make one cut to get the rectangle out. Right now, with these two folds, I can at least do it in two cuts. Okay, try that. If you solve that, try the equilateral triangle where all of the sides are the same length. This has a lot of symmetry. It's symmetric this way and uh, across different axes, so this is often a little bit easier to do. Things that are symmetric are, you'll find are easier. Try that. And then you can either try the scaling triangle where all the angles and all the sides are different. That's pretty tricky. Or you can try, or and you can try, the five point star. Can you cut this out with one straight cut? And keep in mind, in all these cases, we're never using the edge of the paper to help us. The shape is completely in the center, and we want to cut out. Now, I have done some folding on a piece of paper. Uh, you'll see. I don't want to show you how I did it, but this is one piece of paper with a bunch of different folds. And if I make one straight cut right here, let me hold on to this part. Boom, you will see that if I unfold it, I get indeed a five pointed star. And again, I think this is really, really cool. So we will explore this further together, but get some paper, again, preferably tracing paper, get a marker, start drawing some shapes. You do want your shapes to have straight sides because you're making straight cuts. 
but any shape with straight sides, uh, give it a shot and see what you can figure out. Uh, until next time, as always, have fun playing with math.